Now this time we'll explore on the bootstrap table. Let's go to view, edit view. Now again, we'll clone from custom grid. Let's change the display name to, as usual, table. Apply, layout, table, apply. Scroll down here. Now format this time, we'll choose table. Bootstrap table apply. I think nothing much we need to do here at the moment. You can go through all this. There are many options and configuration where you can set. You can even enable the duple style sticky table headers. There are also bootstrap styles that you can choose. If you go to getbootstrap.com, you can find there some example of this. We apply strip border and hover this time and apply. Okay. Now let's scroll down, take a look. I think the thumbnail is quite big. And also we don't actually need the responsive thumbnail. So let's go up here, we do a bit of adjustment. Now first of all, image will use the normal one because of mobile, we'll make it a fixed height and width. Now we use the smallest one thumbnail, okay, link to content. I'm trying to restore back to the original. Rewrite, there's no need to rewrite at all. Right? Style setting. This is fine. So let's scroll down. Apply. We don't need the node ID, we can remove it. Scroll down again. Now it's much better. Great. So let's scroll up. Continue with the path. Table, apply, menu, table, apply, scroll up and save. So let's go to table, let's create. So you have hovering effect, you have bordered, you have strip, alright? So let's resize the browser and see F12. Good. Scroll down. Smaller, smaller. You will notice that the table is not fully responsive. That should be. Let's inspect the element and see. There's something missing here. There's one class called table responsive. You're supposed to add at the outer div to wrap up this table. If you add this class called table responsive, that should make the table work properly. We should be able to scroll across properly. Alright. So we need to fix this as well. It's a little incompletion in this module, but that can be fixed easily. So let's go back. So our view again, now we know how to do on this, edit view. Before that, just now what I was saying is that you go to getbootstrap.com and under responsive tables, it says you have to create a responsive table by wrapping any table in. This is the class that we need, table responsive, all right? It's also show you some sample here. Now you have a table here, you have to wrap this one with table responsive. Only it will work properly on the mobile. Alright, so let's go and do it. Fix this one. Before doing that, I think let's um try to put our body under title, I would say, to make it look nicer. Apply, scroll down. Okay, let's look better. Now let's go to theme information here. Let's go to style output. Now if you scroll down, the first tab here is table. So we need to add another div with a class called table responsive and wrap this the whole table. You should be familiar by now because we had done once before, remember? So let's close this one, go to theme, and this time we'll copy this, target the last one, the list to get the most specific template. 
all right we just want to target this template so I'll copy this theme now go back to our text editor let's go to sites all themes bootstrap sub theme template now I'll add a PHP file I'll add a blank one and give the name paste the whole name here Click finish now go back to our view again this time I will scroll down I will scan it's great it has detected and we're going to use this one instead I'll go to style output this time I'll copy the whole things here right copy go back to our text editor paste it over here now we'll add a div on the top here to wrap it up div so I'll get a class called table dash plus one sieve all right so I close it I think I'll just go down here and close it here in dentist it's great let's save it back to our Drupal site so we close it and save the views now let's flash the cache first make sure you pick up the template correctly and to reduce any possible errors let's close this inspect element check it out again yes great we we'll wrap the whole table with a div and adding a class called table responsive so on smaller screen or mobile you should be able to scroll over right that's how you do it and for the final one we'll put this table under the menu again in menu let's put it here and save the configuration I think we are doing well we have already covered a lot of our bootstrap components which are the most important one so let's proceed